Welcome back to another edition of Behind the Burnt Orange Curtain on TexasSportsConnection.com. I'm Rod Babers. Hey, a lot happened in the Longhorn Nation this week. The Longhorns have a new offensive coordinator, Sterling Gilbert, who was the Tulsa offensive coordinator, a co-OC, and quarterbacks coach. And also, he was the wide receivers coach. The man wore a lot of hats. He also brought with him from Tulsa, Matt Maddox, as a new offensive line coach and the run game coordinator. That means Sean Watson no longer with the Longhorns. Also, that means that Joe Wickline no longer with the Longhorns. Now, Charlie Strong said that he wanted three things with his coaching hire for the offensive coordinator. He wanted Texas ties. He got that. Uh, Sterling Gilbert was even on that Art Brow staff there at U of H to start off his college coaching career. He said he also wanted someone to come in with a system with ties to that air raid, that air raid Mike Leach coaching tree that we talked about. Every coaching candidate that he has interviewed for the job, including Sterling Gilbert, they do have ties to that air raid coaching tree. Uh, Dino Babers, Art Browse. I mean, you talk about some of the best offensive minds in the game. So Sterling Gilbert's got that advantage and also something else that Charlie Strong wanted which I think may be the most uh, pivotal uh, aspect of this hire is a quarterback guru. You want somebody to come in and develop the quarterback position. Now right now we still have no idea who's going to come in and start at quarterback for Texas next season. It could be Gerard Hurd. It could be Tyrone Soups who ended it with a big win. Big upset win over the Baylor Bears. You got Kyle Loxley who's a coach's son and you got Shane Bouchelle also coming in the pipeline as a true freshman. A lot of people says this guy is way ahead of his time so the long ones got a lot of different options at quarterback. It'll be up to Sterling Gilbert to figure out the quarterback position. Part of the identity crisis offensively for the Longhorns on the 40 acres has been their inability to find stability at the quarterback position. That is going to be the key to Sterling Gilbert, at least the first priority on his checklist. And even for Matt Maddox coming in as the run grain quarter and the offensive line coach, he's got a Herculean task ahead of him. Even though you got Connor Williams, you got Patrick Vahe, you got Ken Perkins, some crucial pieces on that offensive line. You lost one of your your projected starting center for next season in Jake Rollison. He's going to be a graduate transfer. He decided to leave the University of Texas. He's a great student. He just said he wanted to go somewhere where he could win right away, and maybe he wants to go somewhere where you know he could have a chance to win a national championship, or maybe even it has something to do with his academic career. He wants to be, uh, you know, obviously uh, I think he graduated from the Red Red McComb School of Business, so maybe it's about his academic career and getting into the business world. Whatever the reason, the Longhorns right now. Now, they're going to be shorthanded at center as well, and that's something Matt Maddox has to figure out. We'll talk more about that next week behind the burn-on's curtain. It's another edition brought to you by TexasSportsConnection.com.